Yo, what is up? My name is Sven and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a white cap shooting floor in Rust. Now you've probably seen, if not heard, of this building method in your actual wipes in Rust. Or you might actually already know how to do this. But for those of you that don't know how to do this, here's my video on how to actually make a white gap shooting floor. Now, I mentioned shooting floor, but using your own creativity, you can actually use this for multiple purposes and not just a shooting floor. First off, let me show you guys what the white gap is and how you can use it, but also why I think it's becoming meta. Then I'm going to show you guys two ways of making a white gap and then I'm going to show you guys a method of connecting your white gap back to your base or multi TC part. Now there's four main reasons why I think the white gap shooting floor is going to become a building meta in Rust. First of all, the peak angles that you can have using a white gap shooting floor are just insanely nuts. Overall, you have an insane space to move around and to potentially peak raiders from, from your shooting floor. Now, on top of that, a white cap shooting floor is usually connected to its own TC or your multi TC, which makes the overall upkeep of your base a lot less because your actual main base is not going to have a shooting floor attached. Everything that's done on a shooting floor is attached to an external TC. Now, on top of that, your base will then automatically have takeover TCs. Now to make things even better, the stability usually on wide gap shooting floors is a lot higher. And once again, since the wide gap shooting floor is usually connected to its own TCs, you can spam frames for basically zero cost. A lot of upsides pretty much. And next to all of that, because of these two consistent ways to make a wide gap shooting floor, I definitely think that the white caps are going to become meta in Rust building, just like how multi TCs are meta. So there's two main ways on how to make an actual white gap. There's one commonly used one that's especially useful if you're trying to reconnect your white gap, for example, to a multi TC part of your base. And then there's a second way that I like better that I use more that gives you a tighter white gap, although you're not really able to reconnect that back to the actual base. The first variant is very simple from the outside outside wall you build three squares following by a triangle you build triangles back until you have one triangle remaining and you remove everything after that now in this example i'm making the white gap like this but once again there's a bunch of ways on how to actually make the white gap you can vary and use your own creativity now the second way on how to do the white gap tighter is you go out Two triangles and a square and then you do three half moons for triangles and then a final triangle on the end. You remove everything except the final triangle and you build back with squares until you can't build anymore and you put a triangle on the end once again. Now I like to do the white cap like this with two squares on the side but once again you can use your own creativity here. Now this second white gap variant I like a lot better because the gap is tighter and also you're able to place more frames for extra stability. Although the downside of this one is you can't really reconnect it back to your base which you can with variant 1. Now that's for a more square base but if we go to a circle base let me just show you guys a couple of examples of what you can do. To make the same white gap. This is the same exact steps that we did. But then we apply it to a circle base. You can see we can build a white gap like that. We can also do one like this. It really depends on what you like. And there's so many different designs you can do with it. And it's just so broken not to actually apply this to any of your base designs I think. But let's talk about white gaps and multi TC bases. You can still apply the way I showed you guys the main white gap way. To a multi TC base. You can also apply the first way that I showed you, the most common way used. Um, and it's actually better to use this one, the wider gap for our multi-TC base, because it's gonna allow us to connect the wide gap foundations back to the multi-TC part of your base. Just a quick pause here to credit Kohan from Building Bulletin for this particular method to connect the wide gap back to your base. And since the wide gap by default is not connected to any of your main TCs, it is actually extremely useful to connect it back to one of your multi-TCs because this allows you to not have so many TCs. For example, with a circle base, you're only gonna need seven TCs, one main one and six externals and still have a multi-TC base with a white gap attached. All right, now I've built up this part a little bit more. What you want to do is you want to do square here, and then we're going to do the triangle half moon, and then another square. 
what you can do then is you build back a square a triangle here and a triangle there and this will be connected by frames now here will be our tc you can actually decide to make this pretty strong and put two doors on like that here we need to do a half wall with one frame connect the other frame to that part and then we do the final frame like that now you can say this can be soft sided so if you want you could do something like that and as you can see the hike was now part as well so now we have our wide gap shooting floor connected to our multi tc part of the base and so we're only gonna need six tcs for the base now that was it for this one already a quick short video about how to make white gaps in rust i do definitely think that this building method is going to become meta in rust building because there's just so many upsides to it and so little downsides there's a lot of bases i've made and used in past wipes that i can't wait to show you guys that are using this building method so definitely stay tuned for that and of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you would like to see more make sure to subscribe and i'll see you on the next video cheers